Hello, welcome back to Gong Walkabout. A while back I did a video on running the local emulator and testing your Firestore triggers locally. This is a follow-up video. I go into more detail and I'm also going to connect my iOS client to the Firestore emulator. Let's dive into it. Feedback on the previous video asked for more detail on local testing. So that's what I'm going to give you here. We dive into Visual Studio Code, I'll show you how to run the emulator and how to run a simple test. I go into details about the simple test, so let's go. Here we see Visual Studio Code and as you can see I created a test project with only two dependencies, the Firebase Admin and it's important in this context to use the Firebase Admin and not Firebase Testing because Firebase Testing is only for testing security rules. That's what I also did even longer back. But now we're talking about Firebase Admin and how we can run that against the local emulator. And second we see Jest. And I use Jest just for running my test. It's not really testing that I do, but it's easy way to run some local JavaScript code against the emulator. Now there's a Firebase testing, but that whole Firebase testing is not relevant for this um, project that I'm showing you here. So you see it is really, really simple. I also have a very simple test that I show here and I'll walk you through from the beginning. So we require the Firebase Admin. I create some user data I'm going to create in this particular test. So this is test data and I have here my, let's say, Firestore triggers function because I want to show that the Firestore triggers are actually running. Now before you start all the tests, we have some initialization and this is the normal initialization you would do with Firebase. There's nothing special to that, you don't need to point to the local emulator anything at this point. And when it's done, we close it. And then we have the individual test. Now in this test, we have a set, but in the set there's only one test. I say we init the user, we uh, check if we're running locally because I don't want this test to be run when I'm connecting to the cloud service because that would create this particular user and it might already be there and getting a mess. So we do a little bit of a test that we are running against the local host and we get the user on the user ID that we set before on uh, testing. If it not exists, we're going to create it and we check again if it is there and if it exists it's true and then the test is done and successful. So this is a very simple way of doing it. Now let's go and run this. Here I've opened two terminals. On the right hand side you see the terminal where I'm running or actually gonna start the Firebase emulators. So let's do start those and we see that they are starting and it gives a little bit of warnings and a few messages and then it has as you can see here uh, initialized all my cloud functions, those are Firestore triggers and the all emulators are running and it's safe to connect. Now it also gives me an important message here for testing set the Firestore emulator host. If we want to connect with our admin functions, Firebase admin functions to the local host, we need to set that environment variable. So here in this second terminal I am in a different folder, that's my, my folder where all my tests are and the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this Firestore emulator variable. Because if I don't do that, the code that is run there, the just test, will not connect to the local emulator. Now I'm going to run my um, local code, so I do that with uh, npm run test and then I give my uh, script that you just saw and that is in it with spec and yes. That's the script as we just went through here and with npm run test here, my package JSON, I have a script test, it will execute the JEST script. So let's run this and let's see what happens. Now, it is initializing, it is running the test, it puts some login message and it says it's passed. But let's go through it in the beginning. We first have the before all, that's what we had in the code there. Then we init the test and we say the user is missing, let's create it. And that's what happens here. So we check the user collection, if it's missing go and create and then we set the user and then in the end we do another check whether the user exists and the test is passed. 
So now we actually created a user in the emulator. Now the emulator, every time you start it, will reset its data, but the user is now here. And if we continue here, we actually also saw that it started the execution of the user on right, it wrote a message here, and it finished. And if we go to that particular function, you can see here the console message that is there. So we have created the user, and we have proved that we have actually executed that trigger on the data store. So this is the part where you can now write any test you want. You can use all your creativity to create the correct test. And for me, creating this user is important because I need a user when I start connecting my iOS client to this particular emulator. And that is what I'm going to do next. And for that, we need to go to um, Xcode. And here in Xcode, we actually have that um, project running. So let's run it. And what I've done here in my uh, start a view controller where we handle the login after the user is authenticated. We need to fetch the user, that is what is done here, from the data store, from Firestore, to make sure that the user isn't blocked and we can get all kind of details about the user. So let's run this. It will start. It takes a little while before the emulator is starting. But the emulator will start and it should break here on this particular messaging code. As you can see, it's on fetching the user. Now let's continue and see what happens. And what actually happens here, we run into an error. And if I step over the error, it will print it here. And we can see there's a Firestore domain error code is 7, and there's no data. Now, this set me off quite a while, because I did everything according to documentation, and still I was having troubles connecting. And I will show you what I did, because stop this. And in my app delegate here, all I did is connect locally. So I set my host to my local host and the details. And this is an exact copy as the documentation from Firebase. And still it wasn't working and I couldn't get my head around it. Now, it took a little bit of a while, but this is what's happening. The emulator is for Firestore and for Firebase functions, but there's no emulator for my authentication. And the documentation says for those services that aren't in the emulator, it will still connect to the cloud service. So I get authenticated against my normal project, my test project, and then that authentication state is not known when running uh, the emulator. The emulator doesn't is not aware of that, let's say, remote authentication. And this is a big disadvantage because you cannot do a real integrated test. And we actually need an emulator for the authentication to make this work. So if Google is listening, give us an emulator for the authentication. But how am I going to solve this so that we can actually start running this? And for that, I went into um, Visual Studio Code again, and I got to my uh, rules. And I need to check where they are. They should be here somewhere, um, Firestore rules. And just for test, I removed all my um, security checks. And what is good to see here on the right, we see also automatically the emulator reacting to that and updating the rules. So we don't do not need to reload the emulator and my data should still be there. So now we go to Xcode again and we run the project again and it will break again at the same spot. And let's see what is happening now. It takes a little bit. See, we end up in the breakpoint and now we're going to continue again. And now it was able to fetch the user. So we actually fetch the local user. So let's continue. And yes, there we are. We are now running our uh, local or our iOS client against the emulator. And let's go and do something in this emulator because now you can do tests against your local emulator. And this is very helpful if you want to develop, for instance, your Firestore triggers. Well, I have a lot of them and it's hard to get them working properly, but for now we're going to do it. So we're going to create a trip. And just to make this a little bit more visual, I'm going to change the size of this window so we can actually see here what is happening inside 
the uh, emulator. We go here, we say this is our trip. This is the first, and we're going to save it. Now, it's not starting here, and we see here, let's go back a little bit. It is beginning the execution of the trip on create, and it finished, but it also gives me an error message. Now, I won't go and read this error message here, but this is now a live example how we're going to fix a problem in our Firestore trigger. And I know this is actually also happening in my production, so it's a good way that we can go and fix it now. Now, if I read this uh, carefully, it uh, means that I am passing an undefined into a uh, update of the data, and Firestore doesn't like that. It, li it wants no or an object and not undefined. So um, let's go here and find the actual um, trigger that is causing that, and that is when we created a trip. So let's go here, there's a trip, we have followers post, and this is the uncreate of the trip. Is it the uncreate of the trip? Yeah, but it's uncreate of a follower in this particular way, because I did a little bit of testing this recent data. It might be undefined, as it is here, and if it's undefined, we need to pass zero. So now we're going to change this very simple thing here, and I just fixed basically my, my trigger. Uh, it has reloaded automatically the, um, the code. So now we should be able to run it again without the error. So let's try and do that. So we go back here and we're just going to create another trip and we call it a second for now and we save it and we should be here. And now you see we have no errors and it has successfully created the trip and executed our uh, trigger function, our Firestore trigger. Now, as you can see, it is not ideal, but you do have the opportunity now to run a iOS client against your local emulator. Unfortunately, you cannot do any testing on your security rules, but you can test and work with your triggers. And uh, it took me a while to figure it out. The documentation is not very clear, but I'm happy that I figured it out. And I'm using this extensively because it's a much shorter development cycle if you have some issues in your cloud functions that you can run it, fix it, run it, fix it, run it, fix it, instead of having to upload it all the time and do that through the cloud servers. So what I've done, I've provided you with a little bit more detail how I create the uh, test functions with just locally using the Firebase admin functions. And I have shown you how I run my a local iOS client against the emulator to even do a more integrated test on my functions and to see everything is working. I hope Google will continue improving the emulators and also provide me an emulator for the authentication and for storage. They are still missing, but I'm pretty sure they will come. And for now, I can work with this, and I hope that you found it useful and that you can also take some uh, lessons out of it and start using it. I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.